Hello and welcome to Deep Dive. I am Dr. Jasmine Walia and we are going to discuss a fascinating topic from space today. This is about the manned space mission. A new era begins. 10 minutes into the Axiom 4 mission launch, Indian astronaut Subhanshu Shukla shared a message destined for history. He said, this liftoff is not just the start of my journey to the International Space Station, but it's also the beginning of India's human spaceflight program. Just recently, Subhanshu Shukla and his team returned to the Earth after orbiting the Earth 288 times and spending 18 days abroad in the International Space Station. This episode will be able to explore what exactly the Exeom 4 mission is and why has it captured the attention of not just India but the entire world. Let's take a closer look. The Axiom 4 mission is a joint collaboration between private and public giants. It includes Axiom Space, NASA, ISRO and the European Space Agency. Under this mission, the crew members were to spend 14 days aboard the International Space Station to conduct microgravity research, test new technologies and engage educational outreach. As a part of their time in space, the astronauts conducted a series of experiments one such initiative was growing Indian superfoods, where the astronauts planted moong and fenugreek seeds to study their growth in microgravity. This experiment aims to develop space-related food tailored to Indian dietary needs and to identify resilient plant genes that can thrive in the extreme environments. Another key experiment was focused on muscle health in zero gravity, where the astronauts examined how muscles and bones weaken in space. And then there was the screen use and mental focus in orbit. This test was designed to assess how screen interaction affects moods and cognitive performance in space environments. These foundational experiments will ensure that astronauts stay healthy, well-fed and focused during the long-duration missions in future. But beyond the thrill of the takeoff and orbit lies the true payoff. As it's not only about pushing rockets into space, it's also about uplifting nations. So let's now explore how sending humans into space translates into real-world benefits. Because the effects of human space missions ripples through science, technology and society. Firstly, it will help to achieve future technological capabilities. The success of the manned mission is expected to inspire further affordable human space programs. It may include exploring the solar system and beyond, sample return missions and other forms of scientific exploration. In addition, it presents a unique opportunity to inspire youth towards careers in science and technology. An important step that would encourage innovation and creativity, particularly in the field of space science. Finally, it serves as a potent foreign policy tool. Opening doors for diplomatic collaborations with other nations. This would pave the way for joint missions, knowledge exchange and international cooperation in space exploration, thereby strengthening global partnerships. However, every step into the space carries a heavy load, not just the rocket's payload, but also the big challenges behind the mission. From safeguarding human lives in hostile environments to mastering uncharted technology, there's a lot to overcome. So now, let's uncover the challenges that must be overcome in our pursuit to manned missions. First, we'll explore the technological challenges. It includes developing reliable life support system for astronauts, designing efficient propulsion to carry heavy payloads over the long distance, and ensuring protection of astronauts from space radiation. In addition, designing safe and reliable systems for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere is another critical task. And beyond that, the development of entirely new systems from scratch can be incredibly time-consuming and complex. Now that we've explored the technological challenges, let's turn our attention to the problems which are human-specific. 
These include isolation, psychological stress for astronauts, muscle and bone degradation in zero gravity conditions, and the need to ensure crew compatibility, especially during long missions, which are going to have conflict situations. Managing medical emergencies in space also remains a major challenge. And last but not the least, there are logistic and financial hurdles. High costs remain a major challenge, particularly for developing countries like India. There is also a need for robust infrastructure, for training, for launch facilities and reliable supply chains for essentials like food and water during an extended mission. On top of that, maintaining project continuity can be tough, especially during changing political landscapes. Having seen these challenges, let's now dwell into India's manned mission. From Rakesh Sharma's voyage four decades ago to Subhanshu Shukla's historic docking at the International Space Station, India's human spaceflight story is evolving and the lessons from both journeys are now fueling the roadmap for Gaganyaan, which is India's human spaceflight program. Gaganyaan marks India's bold step into human spaceflight. Under this mission, a three-member crew will be sent into a 400-kilometer orbit for three days, followed by a safe landing in Indian sea waters. Having understood the basics, let's understand the various components of Gaganyaan, from its powerful rockets to the critical support system driving India's giant leap into space. The mission has several key parts and each one is crucial to making human spaceflight possible. First, there is a human rated launch vehicle 3, a specially upgraded human space version of ISRO's LVM-3 rocket with three stage refined for precision and safety of astronauts. Next is the crew escape system. It is a rapid solid rocket ejection system that pulls the crew module to safety in case anything goes wrong during the launch. Then comes the orbital module. It is a part of the spacecraft that can stay into orbit around the Earth. It includes two vital sections. The crew module, which is a pressurized Earth-like cabin designed to support life and ensure re-entry. And the second one is the service module, which takes care of propulsion, energy and temperature regulation throughout the mission. For the Gaganyaan mission, a dedicated astronaut training facility is being set up at Bangalore. Here, astronauts will undergo comprehensive preparation including theoretical instructions, physical fitness programs, simulators and a suits drill as well as survival and recovery training. With the crew launch now firmly set for early 2027, it's time to chart the countdown. Let's explore the key steps India must take to turn this Gaganyaan mission into reality. First of all, it must secure sustained funding through public-private partnership and international collaborations. Moving ahead, ISRO's infrastructure needs significant upgrades, especially in the areas like life support system and radiation protection technology. Also, long-term planning for maintenance, supplies and station upgrades would be made. India will need to navigate complex geopolitical dynamics and evolving space laws. It may require meaningful collaborations with experienced space-faring nations like the USA and Russia, which will be key to ensuring mission success. This is not just a mission, it's a movement. One that tells the world India is ready, not just to launch into Spain, but to lead it from there. This topic isn't just relevant from the science and technology section of General Studies Paper 3, it's equally important for essay writing, where vision, insight and future readiness matters. Thank you for turning into this episode of Deep Dive series. Until next time, keep learning, keep reflecting.